It was once known as Akron's Million Dollar Playground. Thousands visited Summit Beach Park, a popular amusement park that opened in 1917 and closed in the 50s. Yeah, Frank, in recent years, the Summit Lake area has struggled with blight, its residents sometimes feeling ignored. But as Bob Jones reports, millions of dollars are coming back to the neighborhood with a vision for a better land. Akron's Summit Lake neighborhood, known for its glistening waters, wonderful wildlife, and where a guy named LeBron learned how to shoot hoops. It's also home to 19-year-old Katera Davis. I want us to be great, and I'm proud to be here, and I'm proud to be a resident here. Katera doing her part. This is an opossum. So these are their different pelts in the winter. Working for the Summit County Metro Parks, teaching kids in a nature center right off the city's largest lake. When I was growing up here, this was an empty lot. The Summit Lake area has faced many struggles, blight and abandoned homes. Some residents feeling neglected, the fabric of their neighborhoods torn apart. These are neighborhoods that have just been basically cut up and divided. Um, in some ways, it's actually environmental racism. But now there's a new wave of optimism. It will become a destination and, and that's what will happen. The city partnering with several groups, including the Ohio and Erie Canalway Coalition to invest $8 million into Summit Lake over the next three years, talking to residents about what they want. So look behind us here, right over there. See all that overgrown vegetation? That's gonna be the North Shore. In three years, that's gonna be turned into a boat launch ramp. But the vision for Summit Lake goes beyond clearing that brush and developing the North Shore. Way over here on the other side of the lake, there is a lot of open land where there used to be a school. Eventually, the hope is to put up a pavilion, a play area, benches, and possibly even some retail in all of this green space. There is not a place to get a cup of coffee in this neighborhood. Can't get a sandwich. You can't. There's no drugstore. There's no dry cleaners. Some improvements already here, including swings, grills, and a loop trail around the lake still in progress. It doesn't work if we have all these community partners and people who are dreaming big for us and we're not dreaming that big dream ourselves. Katera also dreams of new housing in the neighborhood and is excited about a fresh future for Summit Lake. I still want to advocate for this place. This is a well of resources that hasn't been accessed in a long time. In Akron, Bob Jones, News 5.